Hello there people, so I'm doing a little bit of setting today and I'm currently working on some bitter melons and I'm working on some snake beans, okay? Now, these one could refer to as Asian vegetables, okay? Warm climate vegetables. And I have grown them here in the UK with success and there's a lot of information on these on my channel. So if you ever sift through, I dare say you'll find something and of course other people have put information, you know, out there on these as well so yeah plenty of information out there and i'm telling you from experience it can be done but what i will say is if you are you know have only got a, a small patch for growing your own veg and you want a if there ever is such a thing as a guaranteed crop maybe this is not the thing for you but if you fancy a bit of a laugh a bit of interest doing something a bit different or indeed you just love the taste of these plants and you really really want to grow them then it could be worth giving it a go so very interesting indeed so the bitter melon seeds I got from a company called Jungle Seeds, okay? And I suggest you check that website out. Just type in Jungle Seeds and uh, the website will come up and you can have a look at it. And there's many other places you could source snake beans from. Um, I'm trying to think. I think the Real Seed Company um, you can get them from. Just type in snake beans for the UK and, um, you know, they will come up. So... Yeah, interesting, in, certainly interesting things to grow with the right approach. So I'll show you my approach to it. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm very fond of unheated windowsill propagators, okay? So you have a look at what I've got here. So you've got the, the green container, you have your cell tray here, look, and then over the top you have your plastic cover, which, which you put over the top, and it acts as like a form of insulation. And then because of the size of these, they're really lovely, you can then proceed to put them on your windowsill and they get the extra heat from the, you know, the sun from the windowsill and then, you know, the extra layer of insulation. And they're very much worth doing and they're very cheap as well and you can use them year after year. And ideally you should clean them, you know, at the end of each time you use them to stop bacteria and blah de blahs building up, okay? That's best practice. And the compost that I'm growing them in is Levington compost. I will show you. Okay, I've got it on selfie, so I hope you can see that. Right? This is what I'm using, Levington, the professional growers kit, okay? Um, well, I've got no battery in these, and in fact, I've never actually used this variety of compost before. So down there, look, you can see that, and this is what I'm working from, which is slightly open. Yeah, there are reasons why I'm using this. It's said on the Jungle Seas website it's best to use seed compost. Now, I've, you know, I've had success before with normal compost, and as you know, if you've been following me, I usually use this stuff, okay? J. Arthur Bowers multi-purpose compost, which I get from home base, okay? Um, I, I like to use this because it's, it's relative, you know, I've always had good success with it since I've been using it. It's not dear, uh, very affordable, but uh, this time I'm doing, I'm actually doing what somebody else says, which, you know, I don't normally, yeah, say no more. Okay, so that's what I'm using. And set in the windowsill propagators like this. So we'll start off with the snake beans, okay? So you can see I put them in. And I put them in eye up, all right? When I say eye look, I mean a little bit there. There you go, I'll show you a seed. Probably, a, there you go, you see the eye? Eye up, because that's where it grows from. I basically treat them the same as when I was, um, if I was growing French beans, okay? Climbing French beans, bush French beans, runner beans, <coughs> broad beans, which I would, you know, which I will be setting um, French beans probably later on. So I put them in like that. And then all I proceed to do is, from my readily prepared Levington seed compost in here, all I simply do is just cover them up, okay? It's really not a complicated um, approach, all right? I'm, I like to have everything organised and set up. And the bitter melons, all I, I'm not overly fussy about which way I put them in. I put, you know, I usually lay them in sort of on their side like that, maybe a bit like how I would do um, courgettes or something. And then, 
called yet, and for my American viewers, I believe you refer to them as zucchini. Please correct me if I am incorrect. So what I do is just put them in like that, okay? And the way that I, what I then do is when you water them, you want to water them using it's tepid water, okay? Not boiling, don't get your kettle and boil it on, of course that won't, <laughs> you know, that's not good, is it? But, um, you know, it's slightly warm, okay? Because end of the day, you've got to remember that these plants, if they're from warmer regions, from the tropics, yeah, the water there is generally going to be warmer, isn't it? So, you know, just a little bit of warmth to the water so you don't shock the seeds. That's, that's what I do. I was given that advice, um, read it somewhere when I got into growing melons years ago, and I've always, you know, I've adhered to that quite a lot, and I, I think that's a good piece of advice. So then all I proceed to do is then put my windowsill propagator over on the top like that, and then put it in the uh, windowsill inside, and, um, you know, if you've got a really warm polytunnel, um, you know, and some good weather, you might be able to germinate them in your polytunnel in a propagator or a greenhouse, but I just take them inside because it's much, much more reliable and you really don't want to waste your efforts. So, yeah, bitter melons and snake beans, um, you know, interesting crops. The bitter melon has allegedly health benefits for sufferers of type 2 diabetes okay but you as i stated before you need to um, check with your medical professional before you start you know dabbling with things that you're eating things that you're not sure about okay you must do that um and snake beans great in stir fries um you know they're used a lot in asian cooking um, they really are and you know these things are, are really good to grow and you know if you've got the time and the interest you know to to give to this you know i suggest you do because it's very satisfying when you grow something that's a little bit you know a little bit different and not not just bog standard stuff okay so there you go any questions you've got on that post them down below but um, i intend to be doing lots of regular updates on this sort of subject and uh, we'll see how we get on so there we go take care enjoy your sunday and i'll see you next time